So this might be a little random, but I'm here for a reason and finding out that I'm also here for another reason. I'm gonna show you guys in just a bit. I know it might be a little random to the vlog that I'm putting this in, uh, but I did wanna show you guys they do have two um, new G80 models, uh, one M3, one M4. So I'm gonna show you guys those right now. So good morning, guys. I'm here at the dealer getting my first oil change with the F80 and look what they have. So these look like more of the base seats in this model in this crazy green color. Let's check out a few of the specs here. Still a three liter twin turbo. So this is Isle of Man green metallic. It's a really nice color in person. It looks really, really good. Kind of reminds me of like how my yellow paint looks. Just, you know, in the green like flakes and everything. It looks really good. Those headlights in person look pretty sick. I like how they have the little blue accent. You can see that there. And then you've got an M4. So that's the M3. And this is the M4. It's the two door coupe. Sao Paulo yellow. That's pretty crazy. And it has a Yas Marina blue, black, full merino leather with yellow accents. It's a carbon fiber trim. And you guys can see these seats in person look insane. There's some Alcantara leather there. It's got some carbon there, carbon across the dash, and you can see the whole backing is carbon fiber. That's nuts. And the one thing in person I'm seeing that I really like are these wheels. And this one has the carbon ceramic brakes as well. It's nuts. You've got the carbon diffuser on the bottom. Little carbon trunk lip. Dude, these cars look so good in person. Crazy. But let me know what you guys think down below. These cars look really good in person. I don't know. I feel like the grill is going to grow on people. I feel like there can be a really nice lip on the bottom to kind of make it look a little better. But honestly, in person, they look really, really aggressive. Tell me, tell me down below, comment down below. Let me know what you guys think of these. Should I trade in the F80 for one of these or no? <laughs> I would love to know your guys' opinion, so let me know. So I just had my lunch across the street at By The Way Burger, which if you are in Van Nuys, you guys need to try it. It's super, super dank. And uh, now I'm on my way headed back to pick up my car. They finished it and it's ready. What's dope is they actually washed her too. They told me I had to wait a little longer so that's why I grabbed lunch across the street. I'm just kind of hoping that my lip isn't messed up. Hopefully they didn't have to take it out of the driveway or anything like that, but we'll see. Hey, let's go, the lip is all good. Let's go. Oof. She looks all cleaned up, super happy. They took care of me really well. Shout out to Dennis, really cool guy. Said I could hit him up for anything. Keep all your game as and lost, as and lost. It's all the same as and lost, as and lost. or sedan i think they both look super super awesome i dig pretty much every angle of this car it looks really really nice both the four door or the coupe interior even on the base is like super nice i wonder if they'll let me sit inside i definitely want to see how these seats are versus when you have so much carbon i don't even think there'll be any, any more you can add anywhere it looks insane Hey, let's go. Dang. 
Got leather all over the door, which is nice. And now in my car, we don't have the adjustable for here. Well, it looks like this one does. We get to sit inside. Oh, wow. Wow, you guys, it's all digital dash now. There's no uh, normal cluster. The steering wheel is nice and thick. We'll push the touch and completely reveals your cup holders, which is nice. Got your start button over here instead of here now. Damn. Damn, this is really nice. You got your M1 and M2 buttons. Very nice. And the paddles. Paddles are a lot, they feel a lot smaller. So maybe a company will probably make some new ones for the paddles because you cannot touch anything on the bottom here. There's like nothing here. The new lights look crazy. Okay, so there's like a little lever here. You pull that and you can extend it. So probably if you're a taller person. That's pretty cool. Wow, those seats were really comfortable and those were just the basic seats. Now we're going to take a look at the M4. Again, there's so much leather, so much more on the doors, even on the top here. Oh, here we go. Damn, you guys. <laughs> These seats are nuts. Look, there's carbon right here. They're super, super snug. So if you're a bigger person, probably not going to be the most comfortable seat. So now this one has the carbon option. Look at that. Same button layout. Except now you get carbon here. Again, the digital cluster. Wow. And this whole steering wheel has carbon fiber on it. And now look, this one has the upgraded paddle shifters. So this is a lot better. Look, you can even see it poking down the bottom. It looks way cooler with the carbon uh, paddle shifters. Got your headlights. These seats are nuts though. It's super soft, super nice Alcantara. These seats are amazing, but I don't know. <laughs> Most people probably won't really enjoy these seats. The other ones are definitely a lot more comfortable. This is also leather. <sighs> Guys, these are not bad looking cars and the interior on these are amazing. Now also the door handles are here. Wow, very nice, you guys. So honestly, after seeing that car, trust me, you guys, you guys have to see these cars in person. They look really, really good, to be honest. Um, it's gonna change a lot of people's minds once they see them on the road or once they see them in person, like I said. Try to find like a local dealer by you and just try to see if uh, they have any in the showroom. This one's here on Van Nuys and Magnolia. So uh, if you guys know where this one's at, go ahead and check them out. Trust me, they are going to look really, really nice, especially with all these other companies that are working on already creating new modifications for the exterior of this car. I'm telling you, it's gonna be really nice. The interior is honestly a lot better than mine. I really like the digital cluster. Times are changing. Everything is going to be getting progressively better. Um, with each generation. And I think the G80s are really going to kind of push the M's to the next level. Exterior wise, if you don't like the grill, I'm sure the handling and the performance of these vehicles are going to just make you overlook that. They are definitely gonna look so different from anything else that's on the road because of the front end, but I really like it. Um, obviously being brand new, there's probably gonna be some markups and there's probably going to be some high sticker prices for these cars. I got my F80 used because obviously I was not trying to pay for a new one, saved a lot of money getting a used one. Maybe in a few years, looking at the G80, maybe. I was kidding a little bit earlier about trading in the, the F80 for one of those. I'm not gonna do that. Uh, I really like my color. I got the Austin yellow paint. There's not too many of these on the road, so I'm definitely gonna keep this car for a long time. If not forever, we'll see. 
but I really enjoy this car. The F80 is a very dope car. I know a lot of you have been kind of sticking around to see more content and just a little bit more about this car. I'll be happy to be making more videos for you guys. And I'm also going to make one about this car. I know I haven't gone over the full spec of this car and the cost and all that. So I definitely want to make that for you guys. So stay tuned. I just came here on my lunch break. Just wanted to show you guys uh, a little bit more about the G80s and what's to come. They said that they're going to be coming next month. It's definitely going to change a lot of people's minds once they see them. But thanks for tuning in to another video. Appreciate all the subscriptions and all the likes and comments. Please, if you haven't, please subscribe to the channel. My goal right now is to hit a thousand. We're pretty much halfway there. Thanks for all the love and support. Uh, follow me on Instagram as well and turn on your post notifications because I will be posting another video very soon about Beamer City. So stay tuned for that. Had an awesome time uh, at that meet. Can't wait to go to another big meet like that, hopefully very soon. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thanks. Peace. Oh, you can.